I'm Lisa Jones at Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Okmulgee police have identified one of the two victims in a double shooting this morning in Okmulgee. Officers say 21-year-old Leon Grant III is being treated for multiple gunshot wounds to his leg. He is expected to be okay. But a 12-year-old boy was shot in the head and in the ankle. Police say he's in critical condition and his identity is not being released. No arrests have been made. Three are dead after an SUV and a school bus carrying a softball team crashed in Seminole County last night east of Oklahoma City. Authorities said the driver of the sport utility was trying to pass another car. The bus driver swerved to avoid the crash with the SUV, but the SUV driver did the same thing, resulting in a head-on collision. The bus then caught fire. One student on board died and the driver and passenger in the SUV also died in the crash. Recent tax hikes helped Oklahoma's government take in more money last month. State Treasurer Randy McDaniel said the state took in $971 million last month. That's an increase of 10% from the same time last year. He said a $50 million boost from recent tax hikes helped the state's checkbook. Let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist John Haverfield. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. Tonight, luckily, the wind's starting to calm down. We'll see mostly clear skies, 35 in Tulsa. It's going to be a chilly start to your Sunday. Elsewhere, 32 in Bartlesville, 39 tonight in McAllister. For your Sunday, not too bad in the mid-50s, so a little bit cooler than today. Partly cloudy, and uh, those winds only at about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the northeast. So not too bad overall for your Sunday afternoon. Elsewhere, 53 tomorrow in Bartlesville, 54 as you head toward Bristow. Some upper 50s down in southeast parts of the state. Over the next seven days, we'll stay in the 50s for the next three days, but those rain chances start to go back up as we head toward late Monday night into early Tuesday morning. Tuesday looks like a washout with an 80% chance for some heavy rain, possibly some lightning and thunder as well. As we head toward Wednesday, the system starts to move away, so rain chances mainly in the morning, with more sunshine filtering in by the end of the work week with some cooler temperatures back in the 40s by the weekend. All right, John, thank you. And that was our digital update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Lisa Jones, two works for you.